keep heading towards the sphere. Meanwhile, Regina Jackson realizes that convincing the alien to change its mind might be the only way to ensure the survival of humanity. Helen is allowed to leave and together with Dr. Michael Granier they meet with Jacob and Claude who at a cemetery. At the cemetery, Jacob leads Claude to the place where his father is buried. Jacob begs Claude to use his powers and bring his father back to life. Claude says I can't do that, any dead parson can't be brought back to life. He consoles Jacob by explaining how no one ever truly dies because the universe has a use for everything, everything is just transformed into something else. At this moment, Helen and Michael arrive. Helen tells Jacob how much she missed his father and they share a good cry. The scene between the two of them convinces Clotta to save humanity. Clotta now understand the other side that Mr. Wu loves about humans. Clotta says he will try to stop it and they head towards the sphere. Dr. Benson notices something is odd the way the entire town has been evacuated and how when after driving through a roadblock they are not chased by the military vehicles. As they approach the sphere, she yells for Michael to stop the car. Just then, a targeted missile strike authorized by the president hits the sphere, it blasts the car into a tree and kills Michael. Just then the nanobot Cloud arrives. Cloud warns that even if he manages to stop Gort, there will be a price to the human way of life. There is not enough time to make it to the spaceship so they run towards a footbridge to hide under. But inside Jacob and Dr. Benson have bloody noses, it is revealed that they have been infected by the nanites and are already starting to die. She requests Cloud to save Jacob. Claude saves both of them by transferring the infection to his own body, then sacrifices himself to stop Gort by walking through the nanites to the sphere and touching it and disappeared from there. His actions cause the sphere to emit a massive EMP which destroys Gort, saving humanity, but at the price of Earth's technology becoming useless and immobile. As the sphere is leaving, Jacob realizes that Claude didn't die. He just merged into the giant sphere. The spheres surrounding the whole Earth leave with the giant sphere spaceship. That's how the story ends.